Yes, the promise. Living for the promise. But guess who did the promising? God did. He promised me eternal life. And that's what I'm living for. He promised me a way out of no way. And that's what I'm living for. He promised me a life free from agony, stress, and strain. That's what I'm living for. We thank the choir for that soul-searching song of the promise. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father who promised us eternal life, we come. Thanking thee for the whole plan of salvation and the fulfillment of the promise in that you gave your only begotten son. And Jesus so loved us that he gave his life. Father, we thank you for the promise. We thank you for this another day. We thank you for your blessings, great and small. We thank you for the power of God, which is unto salvation to all that believe. We thank you for the day and for granting us the opportunity to be alive and well. Your compassion, which is renewed unto us this day, and how great is thy faithfulness. Father, we thank you for this portion of the service. We pray, dear Lord, that you will bless us. Remember those that are on the highways and the byways. Watch over, protect them, and care for them. Keep them, Father, from seen and unseen danger. And we thank you for your deliverance unto this hour today. And for your loving arms of protection round about us, shielding us from the hurt, the harm, and the danger that is looking to try to captivate the souls of us all. So, Father, we thank you. Be with us and protect, lead, guide, and direct. Remember each and every individual that is in the sound of our voice today, those that are sitting in the pews, here and there and all over the world, that you will be with them and protect them. Remember those, dear Lord, that are with child. Dear Lord, that you will continue to protect them and care for them and bless them that they may be relieved of all stress and strain, that there may be peace and harmony in their homes and on their jobs and wherever they go, that the babe in the womb may come forth singing praises unto thee. So Father, we wanna thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask and we do thank thee both now and forevermore. Together can we all say amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To the ministers of the gospel, to the deacons, to the congregation, the singing choirs all over the world, to the congregations that have gathered, we say good afternoon and may God bless you. For truly God is good <clears throat> and his mercy endureth to all generations. Thank God for the Scroll which reads, obedience, <clears throat> love, reverence, and then respect. First to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. Thank God for the sparks from the anvil on page three of our programs today. The first one says, the Lord won't chase you away when he comes, but your guilty conscience will. As the digging read the scripture today in St. John, the third chapter, <clears throat> he that doeth evil hateth the light and won't come to the light lest his deeds be made manifest. It is obvious that every church that stands for what's right there's not a lot of folks there. But for those that will not make known the deeds 
Amen. They're jam-packed. Full up to the brim. But it's obvious that the light manifests the deeds. And so God won't chase you away when he comes. Your guilty conscience, amen, surely will. The second, the second one says, don't let the sun go down on your head with the wound unhealed in the heart of one you've hurt. Through many things we offend, but he that offendeth not in word is the same as a perfect man. Words hurt. Amen? Words hurt. And this little member right here causes such great pain. And as it says, don't let the sun go down on your head with the wound unhealed. All it takes is a stop. Please forgive me. For I know what I said, amen, hurt you. Then you have healed that heart of the one you have hurt. The third says, I know that death can't hold me if I worship in this life the one who has the power over death. Christ came and he destroyed him that had the power, had the power over death when he resurrected from the grave. Amen. Death couldn't hold him. He got up. And as we're entering into the season of remembering the resurrection, these words are very much alive. Amen. So death can't hold you if you live like Jesus. Amen. And on the back of the program, it said, when Jesus Christ came into this world, it was to deliver mankind from the law of sin, which had fallen upon all, brought about by the sin of Adam and Eve. This act of kindness introduced to all the effectiveness of the grace of God and the power of his love for you and I. Oh, what love. Jesus gave to me. Amen. What love my eyes have seen. We thank God for the coming of Christ, for the life of Christ, and for the resurrection of Christ, and then for the intercession of Christ who is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Talking for you and I, day in and day out. Lord, Remember them. They're striving, they're struggling. Send down a blessing. Amen. Pave the way. Move out the agony and the distress and the strain. And then give them a testimony of the power that still lies within the Almighty God. Isn't that wonderful? So truly, we thank God today for the blessings, great and small, and for the power of God, which is unto salvation. To all that believe. <clears throat> On the front of your program, it speaks about the deliverance from the law of sin and death. And today we want to speak to you about that inner struggle, that inner conflict. Amen. So for a thought today, the inner, inner conflict. There's a war, church, going on. And it's not only outward is that war, but there is an inner struggle within man. Amen. And there's just bubbling. You can see some people, and you can see them ready to what? Explode. And the reason being is that there's something on the inside that just ain't right. Amen. 
And there's a struggle going on there. And the only one that can deliver from that, amen, is Jesus Christ. Oh, what love. Amen. Congregation, turn with me. Deacon Garnett, if you help me out there, please. In the book of Romans, the seventh chapter, <clears throat> the Apostle Paul, a wise master builder. Amen. The Apostle to the Gentiles. We're speaking to the Roman church here, <clears throat> beginning at the very first verse. And he's utilizing this, this scenario as an example. Amen. And he begins at the first verse, he says, Know ye not, brethren, meaning sisters also, for the, I speak to them that know the law. That what? How that the law have dominion over man as long as he liveth. How that the law have dominion. Mm -hmm. You have Amen. speed limits. Mm -hmm. You have officers to enforce yes. the law. You have commonwealths that will prosecute you. Quick. Quick. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you have judges that will pass down the final degree. Amen. No, you're not. That what? How that the law have dominion over a man as long as he is alive. Yes. Amen. Amen. Second verse says what? For the woman which hath an husband. And for the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law mm -hmm. to her husband. So what? So long as he liveth. So long as he is alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you notice it says liveth. Mm -hmm. Liveth. Yes. And there's a meaning for that word liveth. See, everybody is alive, but not everybody liveth. You see, you liveth, E-T-H, on the end of the word live, by the power of God in your life. By the resurrection of Christ. By the obvious of love being in you. Liveth. Watch this now. Read. But if the husband be dead. But if the husband be dead, if he is not responsive, mm -hmm. if he is not uh, in accordance with the law of the marriage, then what? She is loose from the law. She is loose from the law of her husband. Mm -hmm. As Jesus gave the only exception, mm -hmm. and that is through the act of fornication. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's what looses one from the marriage. Yes. Third verse, so then in what? So then, if while her husband liveth. And if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she is what? She shall be called an adulteress. And the same thing for the man, he shall be called an adulterer. Mm -hmm. See, they are adulterous mm -hmm. and they are adulterers. So mm -hmm. if your wife still lives and you are married to another, then you, brother, are called an adulterer. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Read. But if her husband be dead. But if her husband be dead, if he has failed to honor the sanctuary of the marriage, mm -hmm. then he is dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And Christ, once again, let us not get a misunderstanding that mm -hmm. irreconcilable differences does not give you or grant you mm -hmm. divorce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Fornication, Christ says. The only thing, only thing mm -hmm. is fornication. Listen, read. She is free from that law. She is free from that law. That law. 
Read, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Read. Wherefore, my brother. Wherefore, my brother. So he, he, he gave that example that we all might get a clearer understanding of this that he's about to administer. Amen. Read. My brethren. Wherefore, my brethren, what? Ye also are become dead. You are also become dead to the law. How? By the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Deliverance from the law of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're done so by the power of God. Mm -hmm. Listen, read. <clears throat> that you should be married to another. Amen. That you should be married to another. Wherefore, my brethren, you are become dead to the law by the body of Christ that you should be married to another. Read. Even to him who is raised from Even the dead. Even to him who is raised from the dead that we should bring forth what? Fruit unto God. Amen. There's nothing like the beauty of a flower, not in the ground, but when it pops and buds. Amen. That's the fruit of your labor. You know, you, you, the sister was talking about the flowers, the tulips that are just popping up out of the ground. And you see them, and then all of a sudden you see a stem, and then all of a sudden you see a bud. A blossom, mm -hmm. the fruit of the labor, mm -hmm. amen, brings great joy yes. when God sees his fruit springing up out of your stem, mm -hmm. you, right. amen. Listen, read. For when we were in the flesh. For when we were in the flesh now, the motions of sin, mm -hmm. amen, when you're in the flesh, the motions of sin, read. Which were by the law. Which were by the law did work in our members to do what? To bring forth fruit unto death. Amen. Mm -hmm. The motions of sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inner, inner, inner struggles. Mm -hmm. There's a conflict, there's a battle going on. Yeah. You know. Read. But now we are delivered from the law. For what? But now we but are. Now, but mm -hmm. now, but mm -hmm. now, we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in what? Newness. Newness of spirit and what? And now in the oldness Not of the Not like letter. you used to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read it again, brother. But, but now, now we are delivered from the law. Read. That being dead wherein we were held. That being dead. Mm -hmm. Wherein we were held that we should serve in what? The newness, newness of, of spirit. spirit. And how's that spirit spelled? A small s. Small s. So it's talking about here, the mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is where this struggle is going on. This conflict that is happening, this war inside is right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Read. And not in the oldness of the And letter. not in the oldness of the letter. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? What? God forbid. God forbid. The law is not sin. Mm -hmm. Sin is sin. Yes. Disobedience is sin. Read. Nay, I have not known sin. He says, nay, I had not known sin, but what? But by the law. Amen. Anything that can bring light to you can't be wrong. Mm -hmm. Anything that can bring a reasoning to you is not wrong. Amen. Read it again, brother. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Forget. Nay, what? I have not known sin. I had not known what sin is all about, but what? But by the law. By the law. Read. For I have not known lust, except the law has said, thou shalt not covet. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. That's why the church is so important. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important that, as the elder said, you need the church to help you to raise your children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is why you need the church to help raise you up out of the bitterness and the anger and the stress and the strain of life. Amen. You need the church. You need the gospel of Jesus Christ to save you from the motions of sin yeah. in the flesh. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Read. But sin take of occasion but what? the commandment, but sin. He said, for I had not known the lust except the law have said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it can't be sin. It can't be wrong for the law or the light to manifest the deeds. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But sin. Taken occasion by the commandment wrought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, what was? Sin was dead. Amen. Until the law came, sin was dead to you. But when the gospel came, mm -hmm. amen, yeah. it brought to light yeah. that what I was doing is against the commandments mm -hmm. of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So then it's left up to you yes. to make the change. Mm -hmm to get rid of the motions of sin mm -hmm. that's struggling on the inside. Yeah. See, people battle with these things. They struggle with the commandments of God. Mm -hmm. Read. For I was, for for I was I, alive. For I, Paul said, was alive without the law once. Mm -hmm. Read. But when the commandment but came. But when the commandment came, what happened? Sin revealed. Sin came to existence in front of me. And what? And I, I died. Die because mm -hmm. sin destroys. Yes. Righteousness yeah, keeps true. alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when this came to be, when it, it, you know, wow. Amen. You mean to tell me fornication is wrong? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. It's all in the book. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's all in the book. Mm -hmm. Hatred, yeah. malice. The Lord speaks about the fruits of the Spirit, mm -hmm. the fruit of the Spirit, mm -hmm. and he talks about the works of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Let's get that for a minute there, brother. Mm -hmm. Galatians, <clears throat> mm -hmm. fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is that where it is? Mm -hmm. Amen. Five, sixteen. Galatians, fifth chapter, 16th verse. This I say then. What? Walk in the spirit. Walk in the, how's that spirit spell? Capital S. So you don't walk in your own mind, because your own mind will leave you down the wrong path. But if you walk in the spirit, meaning according to the doctrine of Christ, mm -hmm. then what? And you shall not fulfill and the lust. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah. Read. For the flesh lusts against For the, the flesh does what? Lusts. Here's that struggle, church. Mm -hmm. That flesh lusts against the what? Spirit. How's that spirit spell? Capital S. Is it capital? Mm -hmm. Amen. Fighting against the law of God. Mm -hmm. The commandments came. I found out that the commandment was good, and then I, my way, became non existence. I died. For the flesh the lust is against the spirit, and the spirit does what? And the spirit against the flesh. The spirit against the flesh, and these are what? Contrary one to another. Contrary one to another. Amen. There's a struggle in me. Yeah. There's a fight going on in me. Ooh. Mm. How we doing, church? And he says, they are contrary. There's no agreement between Christ and Baal, church. Yeah. There's no agreement between light and darkness, church. Yeah. Amen. Where do you find darkness? Anywhere that the light doth not shine. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. But the song said, walk in the light. Beautiful light. Yeah. Somewhere the dew drops. A mercy shine bright, shine all around me by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Listen, read. So that ye cannot do the things. Amen. <clears throat> and these are contrary to one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that ye would. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, read. But if you are led of the Spirit. But if you be led mm -hmm. of the Spirit, you are what? Not under the Not law. Not under the law. Read. Now the works of the flesh now are the manifest. works of the flesh, works of the flesh, works of the flesh are manifested, which are these. They are made known, and when they are made known, you find out that you are not alive, mm -hmm. but dead. Yeah. Read. These adultery. The first one, adultery. Mm -hmm. That's living as a married person and yet married to someone else. Amen. That's adultery. Read. Fornication. And then there's fornication, having sex outside of the marriage. Yes. You mean? Yes. God means. Yes. He's against it. Mm -hmm. What else? Uncleanness. And then there's uncleanness, as we spoke about them nasty, dirty cigarettes. Yeah, that's it. As one person I spoke to about it one time, he said, well, you know, it, it ain't nothing dirty about it. I said, why they got a filter on it? Is not there a filter on the cigarette? And what's the purpose of the filter but to filter the filth? Amen. Yeah. That's uncleanness. Mm -hmm. Amen. They have wash, water so that you yes. can clean up. Yes. Bath once a week ain't going to get it. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah. They have cleaners to clean your clothes. They have brooms and mops to clean the floors of the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. All these things are uncleanness. And these tools are used to help to clean. Because God loves cleanliness, mm -hmm. which is next to godliness. Mm -hmm. And godliness with contentment, great gain. Woo. How we doing, church? Read, brother. Lasciviousness. He says lasciviousness. That's a sincere sexual desires yeah. mm -hmm. amen these are works of the flesh mm -hmm. next one is idolatry mm -hmm. anything anything that is between you and God is an idol and it is idolatry for you to participate how we doing church yeah, right. what else witchcraft. witchcraft and you know what they do with witches voodoo and all that stuff back in the day they burned them Amen. Who read? Hate. What? Hatred. Hatred. Mm. Yes. Variants always at odds with somebody. Yes. Read. Emulation. Emulation. Wrath. Mass, sedition. Strife, heresies, envy, and murder. See, all of these things are works of the what? Flesh. Of the which I tell you before, as I've also told you in time past, that they which what? Do such things. Do such things are what? Shall not, inherit the, Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That is a plus. Yes. Without a doubt. Yes. That if you do these things, God cannot accept. You into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Read. But the fruits of the Spirit. But the fruit, there's no S on the end of that. Yes. But the, fruit. but the fruit of the Spirit, now, how's that Spirit spelled? Capital S. Capital S, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. Woo! It's love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, gentleness, and what else? Faith. Faith. Wait a minute, brother. We skip one. Goodness. Goodness. Just be good, you know? And then behind goodness comes what? Faith. Faith. Woo. Then what? Meekness. We talked about that Friday night. Meek and quiet spirit in a wife. 
is of great price in the sight of God. Amen. What else? Temperance. Temperance, able to control. See, that, that's a, some people just falling on the inside, just, just waiting for any little thing to explode. You come home from work, brother, you done work all night long dealing with folks in the world, and you come home, you're tired, and she explodes on you. Boom! And you ask yourself, what in the world did I do? Sister come home, she's been out working. She walk in the door, and you've been laying around the house all day, and you explode. What's going on? There's a struggle. There's a conflict. Amen. Ooh, read. Meekness. Meekness. Temperance. Temperance against what? Such there is no law. Ain't no law against that. Amen. Back over in the Romans. <clears throat> Fifth verse says, for when we were in the flesh, the motions of sin, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth, what? Fruit unto death. But what? But now we are delivered, but now we are delivered from the law, that being dead, what? Wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, what? I had not known sin but by the law, for I had not known lust except the law have said, Thou shalt not covet. Read. For sin take occasion, take an occasion by the commandment, wrought to me all matter of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was what? Dead. Dead, but what? Well, I was alive. Without I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life I found to be unto death, for sin taken occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by it, it slew me, it killed me, it caused me to get off of my high horse, whether I wanted to get off or not. Boom, it knocked me down. Read. Wherefore the law is holy. Wherefore, I want you to know this church, without a doubt, the law is what? Holy and what? And the commandment, and the commandment holy and what? And just and what? And good. Amen. So don't run from it and don't choke at it. Don't scoff at it. Don't battle at it. Don't struggle at it. Just accept it. Read. What then that which is good may death unto me? Read. God forbid. God forbid, but what? But sin. God wanted to be an understanding that it might be unto you sin to lie, to steal, to cheat, to fornicate, to live in adultery. These things are sin. And there's a big old struggle going on in you. Amen. Read. But sin. That it what? That it might appear sin. That it might appear sin. Read. Working death in me. Working death where? In me. Working death where? In me. In me. You take it personally, Paul says. It's working death in me. Read. By that which is good. By that which is good. You see, it takes a plow to turn over the ground. It takes the word of God to break up that mess that's inside of you. And it takes the power of God to be able to overshadow you that it might not come back to you after being driven out of you. Ooh. Read. That sin by the commandment might become exceedingly Exceeding sinful. sinful. That sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. 14 verse says what? For what? For we know that the law For we know that the law is spiritual, but what I, Paul says, am carnal and sold where? Under sin. We all were born in sin, shaping in iniquity, and it takes the power of God to be able to relieve us, deliver us, rescue us, save us. Amen. Read. Listen now, here's the core of this conflict, inner conflict, amen. 
For that which I do, Paul says, what? I will not. Amen. There are some things that grown-ups do that they don't even allow their children to do. Amen. Huh? Don't even allow their children to do. Huh? Things that grown-ups do. You don't allow your children to drink liquor, but here you are drinking liquor. You don't allow your children to back talk, and here you are back talking. For what? For that which I do. For that which I do, what? I will allow not. I personally don't allow it. Read. For what I would, that I do. For what I would, that do I not. Isn't that something? Look at that struggle, church. The thing that I ought to be doing, I'm not doing it. The thing that I'm not supposed to be doing, I'm doing it. There's a struggle going on. It's an inner conflict. Conflict is a war. Amen. And it's got me all twisted and tied up and don't know what to do. Read. But what I hate. But the thing that I hate, Paul says, read. Those are the things I'm doing. Amen. I don't like laying you out. You're my wife. I love you. But yet here I am laying you out, smacking you around, kicking you and stomping you. Things of this nature. And I wouldn't even allow this somebody else to do things like that. Here I am doing them. The things that I hate, Paul says, are the very things that I'm doing. Read. If, then I do that which I would. if now, if now, then I do that which I would not, I do what? I consent to the law. That is what? That is good. You know, you do something for so long, you believe that you're right. You believe that you're right. You do it for so long, over and over and over and over and over again, and because somebody ain't smacked you for it, you feel as though that you are all right in what you're doing. But the Lord said, consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Don't play with God. Amen. Read it again, brother. If then I do, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the Lord that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but who? There's the struggle. Uh There is sin in you, and you're getting feeding from the fountain of life, and there's sin in you, and that sin is struggling. Yes. Because it wants to have control. Yes. Mm -hmm. As I tell some people when they're struggling, that's not you. That's not you. You, You're uh, better than this. Mm -hmm. And when that spirit is not at them, they're just like Saul was. Mm -hmm. When David had to come in and play on his harp, calm David down. I mean, cause calm Saul down. Saul got so angry one time, he threw the javelin at David and tried to smite him to the wall. And the only thing the little shepherd boy was doing was playing on the harp. Mm-hmm. A wall. Mm-hmm. We knew this guy that uh, used to drive bus with us. His CB handle was Quiet Storm. Because <laughs> the man, never, you never knew when he was going to explode. He would go off in a minute, boom. Just go on a rampage. So you had to walk soft around. You had to be careful that you don't want to ignite an explosion. You can't live like that as a wife. You can't live like that as a husband. A man to come home and not know whether you're going to get blowed off on. It's enough to deal with the world. To come home and have to deal with the world at home. It ain't supposed to be. How we doing, church? Thank you. Read, brother. 
Now then, it is no more I. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but who? Sin that dwelleth that in me. dwelleth. You know, sin should not dwell in you. Amen. Amen. When the word of God comes forth, then that sin should be uprooted and driven where? Out of you that you might live the life of Christ. Amen. Freely. Read. For I know that in me. That For I know that in me, in me, in me, in me, that is where in my flesh dwelleth what? No good. Ain't nothing good in the flesh, Paul says. Read. For, For the what? will is present with me. For the will, now, the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I what? Find not. You know what's good? The will is there, but how to get it done? I'm just not getting it. Because of this struggle. Read. For the, good that I would. for the good, for the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that do I. You're better than this. Amen. But yet there's a spirit in you that overpowers the good that's in you so that the good cannot come out, but the evil, it busts. Woo! And then the other person on the other end is saying, what did I do? Spark number two, don't let the sun go down on your head with the wound unhealed in the heart of one you hurt. Ooh, how we doing, church? It's a pressing way. If you're going to make it, you're going to press. Because the devil ain't going to let you get there on easy street. You got to press your way. Amen? Read. Now, if now I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but what? Sin that dwelleth. sin that dwelleth in me, it ought not to be in me. Especially if you're supposed to claim to be saved. I am saved. You hear people say, I'm not as I used to be. Well, if you ain't what you used to be, why is it you still got those used to be attitudes? Gone means gone. Saved means saved. Saved from what? Whatever's holding you captive. Woo. Read, bro. I find in the law. I find, Paul says, then a law that what? That when I would do, when I would do good, what happened? You're doing the best that you can, and hell in your best is just not good enough. Dick and Paul and I used to raise pigs. And after they get a certain size, we take them to the market to sell them. Mm -hmm. And we pick out the best to take to the market. And we had all nice plump. Oh, they were nice and plump and good to go. We put them on the truck, and we get all these green marks, and all of a sudden, here's a one red mark. They didn't want us to have the perfect score. So they put a red mark on one of our good-looking pigs. When I would do good, what's happening? Evil is where? With me. You're doing the best you can, and you get smacked for it. Mm -hmm. I was out with a, a leading person in the society of Williamsburg last evening. He and his wife was out anniversary, and the first thing he said to me was, I want you to know that you have done a marvelous job with those sons of yours. I said, sir, it takes two. Hey. Hey. Amen. I said, sir, it takes two. Hey. He said, yes, I agree with you. And if she was here, I would surely tell her that. Mm -hmm. That you've done a marvelous job mm -hmm. in raising your children. Amen. 
That's a compliment. Mm -hmm. And he told me at the end, that's the highest compliment that I ever give to a man is how he raised his children. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a credit to being in touch with God. Training up a child in the way that it should go, that when it is old, it will not, what? Depart. Amen. Amen. Now, if I do that which I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, what? Evil. Evil is present with me. Present with me. For I delight now, what? In the law of in the God. In the law of God after the inward. See, there is a spirit within all of us that delight in the law of God. Mm -hmm. You want the best. You like the goodness, the kindness, the joy, the peace, the happiness, and all of these things that God gives. Mm -hmm. But what? But I see another law but in my But there is another law. Read. In my members. It is in my members, my mouth. My eyes, my feet, my tongue, things of this nature. There is another law in the members that what? Warring against that the law of my mind. warring against the law of my mind and doing what? And bringing me into and captivity. It, because it has the greater power, it brings me into captivity mm -hmm. to the law of what? Sin. Ooh. Which is in my members. And when you see people stupid, to these things, it is evident that they don't have the power of God in their life. Mm -hmm. Because there's no greater power, there's nothing greater than the power of love. Mm -hmm. And we learned last evening that love is of God and God is what? Love. love. Mm -hmm. And when you have love, don't tell me that you love me and you smack me every time you see me. You know, the Lord tells us, let us not love in tongue, mm -hmm. but in deed and in truth. Mm -hmm. See, everybody don't always speak out love, I love you. Mm -hmm. But if they're bringing you a flower home, mm -hmm. they're showing you they love you. Mm -hmm. This is for you. It's a flower of love. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because there are some people tell you they love you from right here and they don't care nothing about you. That's lip love. But let us love in not only in word, but also in deed and in truth. Be truthful when you say you love. Amen. It's like we ask the question sometimes, y'all love me? Amen. He should have to say, yeah, we love you, pastor. Don't lie to me. Because when I get to expound it upon the gospel of truth and I see that sour puss look on your face, I know something ain't right. And no man likes to hear somebody tell them where they stand or what they look like, definitely what they smell like. You see, sin stinks. Ooh. You love me? <laughs> Paul said, have I become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. It is upon me to tell you the truth. Ooh. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of what? Sin, which is in my members. Ought not so to be. Read. O wretch, messed up from the floor, tore up from the top down. I'm all confused. O oh, wretch man that I am, Paul says, read. Who's going to deliver me from the body of this death? It will eventually destroy me. It not only destroy you, but destroy everybody else around you. People see you coming and just go the other way. Amen. 
Husband don't even want to come home for fear of getting blowed out. Wow. Wife don't want to come home because she don't know how she going to take you next. I don't know what kind of attitude he's in. Amen. Amen. Whoo. How we doing, church? Preaching? Amen. Amen. Some people live alone because that's the lifestyle that they are. They live alone. They can't stand being with this one or that one. I, I just like to be by myself. I don't want nobody to be around me at all. That's not the plan of God. It's not good for a man to be alone. Amen. So God created who? The woman for the man. You got it? O oh, wretch man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? The 25th verse says, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then what? With the mind. With the mind now, I myself would do what? Serve the Lord. I'm going to serve the law of God, but. With the flesh. With the flesh now, what? The law of sin. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Carl. May heaven have a smile upon me. Look up, church. Look up. But don't give up. Because there is a happier day ahead, especially when the love of God delivers you. Amen. Deliverance from the law of sin and death. Amen. Sin will eventually destroy you. God came that we might have life. And then that we might have it, what? More abundantly. May God bless you. Heaven have a smile upon you. Let us continue to hold on, hold on. You believe you heard the truth today? Amen. amen. If so, raise your hand and say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah, right. amen. Keep you in your prayers that I'm ever stand firm and be true. And be all that God will have me to be. Turn the service back over to the deacons. Thank you.